a Doug 996 in KC. We have the M96 block that's been uh, re-sleed with Nikki's from Ellen Engineering. And the displacement is originally a 3.4 liter for, this is a model year 2000, first gen 996 air uh, water-cooled. And with the new sleeves, the bores have been increased to 101 millimeter diameter. These are JE pistons. And um, this was all sent out to Ellen Engineering as far as getting it re sleeved and they sent back the pistons. So um, this is bank two, right side, which means it's cylinder four, five, and six. And we have the chain guides. Uh, rubber band together along with the the cog here and very important that we don't forget this bolt here when putting this case half uh, mating it onto the crank carrier so the other two uh, notable items here are the two uh, dowels they need to be seated into crank half and I went ahead and used denatured alcohol to clean the surface area and what we're going to do is put in uh, instead of the Porsche OEM bolts we're going to put in ARP studs in this block and uh, part number is 204-4707 so studs here and the shorter threaded end goes into the block and the longer threads will stick up and it says to put these in dry I went ahead and cleaned these with soap and water and air make sure they were completely dry so um, go ahead and just uh, hand tighten these in until they see. Um, they say hand tighten, but just to make sure they're completely seated, I'll just ever so slightly make sure it's in. So we're going to continue this uh, for 12 bolts. Continuing with the uh, head installation on a Porsche water-cooled M96 block. Um, one thing to note is I have piston number four at top dead center and it locked into the pulley over here. And we just installed the ARP studs hand tight. Um, these are probably a little bit overkill with a non boosted application, but uh, makes it very easy to lift the head off and service it without having to pull the bolts and always be re threading um, OEM bolts in and out, in and out, in and out. So, next step is to, uh, we're going to install the gasket. So this is um, a custom gasket, and I did clean this with, um, with denatured alcohol as well. I'll make sure those fit around these dowels perfectly. Everything looks lined up. All right, and now we're going to put the head on. The um, this gasket is um, so up and down. It's pretty obvious, but um, here's the part number, and then this arrow is down towards um, what will be the exhaust off the head exhaust ports and you can see here this says um, this is a 3 dot 3 dot 4 liter to 3 dot 8 liter which is what this will become 101 millimeter so now let's put the head on I think notice here on the head is the heads were refinished by uh, Hoffman Heads in Georgia.
the next step for ARP is to use uh, their um, fastener assembly lube. It's used to precisely duplicate all fastener um, preload specification. So this will go on each of the threads of the 12 studs. So we got a washer and that. We're just going to hand tighten these. All right, we have the nuts on all the studs, the washers and the nuts, and they're all started. So now without, just gonna put these down ever so slightly without any torque. It's just a lot faster than, I know some people don't like this, but I mean, I'm basically speeding up the process in my opinion. So, Here's the instructions from ARP. We've got two equal steps to 60 foot-pounds. And here's the order in which we need to torque. So I got the torque wrench set at uh, 30 foot-pounds. Double check. Yep. And we're going to Until we torque and consistent. I don't, didn't get it there. This might be it for the consistency. Just the consistent. There's 30. Okay. All right. So the initial torque on the 12 nuts is 30. I put 30 pounds on it. And then the final is 60. So I've set this torque wrench to 60. One consistent pull here. Oh God. Our 60. That's one. Diagonal is number two. All right, so we have the 12 ARP uh, studs, washers and the nuts for bank four through six, torqued to 60 foot-pounds. Now there's four other bolts on this side that need to be put in. And there's one down in here, which we do not want to drop in down in here. And then there's three on this outer side. So a moment of truth. There we go. 